Hey guys, what's good? Today on the program, I'm doing some Argo maintenance. This is my 2005 Argo Bigfoot 6x6. If you're asking yourself what makes it a Bigfoot, well, it comes with Bigfoot tires. While I'm doing the tire switch over, figured might as well grease all the bearings, all the grease circs, and show you guys how I do it. I usually put a board under my floor jack, jam it underneath, then use another board to support the end. Good enough. I have to get these tires off real quick and then grease the three outside bearings. The bottom one, I'm doing the same thing as all the rest of my axles. As soon as the grease starts coming out, I stop. My top one, I just pumped it until it got hard enough. Like every other grease circ, I could clean them off. So I'm not pushing dirt, sand inside the bearing. Do the top one, four pumps. Do the bottom one, four pumps. And on the fourth pump, you just see the grease start coming out. And that's my fifth pump. Do six. And that's good enough. Ready to put the Bigfoot tires on now. I switch out my tires twice a year, so I grease these bearings at least twice a year and my chains. Cut down on some maintenance, some breakdowns, because I've broken bearings way in the bush and they're quite the machine to get out with a skidoo, I'll tell you that. Just like your car, I'm putting the lug nuts on hand tight first. My Dugga Dugga gun has settings. I'm not going to Dugga Dugga too much. I'm going to put it on maybe one Dugga Dugga, two at the most. So when I'm inside the bush, I don't struggle like a bitch trying to get my wheels off. See, dugga dugga, I'm done that one. Top one, dugga dugga, dugga dugga, dugga dugga. Got a lot of grease fittings, gotta clean off, spray all these chains. While I have my back apartment open, I'm greasing and spraying and everything. Figured I'd put my back plugs in. Because Argos are like a boat. As long as you plug them up, they'll float. There's my other drain hole. I'm gonna plug that one up too. We're all done that. Now we can go swimming. Just want to check because I noticed the difference. Still have the normal or original Argo tires on it. Get the Bigfoot tires on the other side. So while I'm rolling around for your pleasure, might as well measure, see what the difference is. An extra inch. You get probably an extra inch of clearance with the bigger tires. Right on, I'm glad you got the Bigfoot tires on. Now my middle tire, I put max air pressure in it, which is seven pounds. My front and back tires, front and back tires, I only put four pounds. That's so the middle tires are a little bit bigger and it helps it turn, pro tip. I'd also recommend you eight wheelers doing the same thing. Your two middle tires are inflated just a little bit more than your outside than your outside tires. Help you turn a little bit better. Now that we're all finished talking about tires, that I got all the greasing done. I only got 18 grease fittings out of 24 done so far. Still have to go inside and grease a bunch more. Now I just have to take out the passenger compartment plastics to get at the rest of the bearings.
That's not a greaser, that's your bleeder cap. For your brakes, don't be greasing that. Good time to check the engine oil. Doesn't need an oil change yet. One less thing to do. 